I promise to be your number one fan, your best friend, and your greatest ally. I promise to hold your hand through life challenges and to support and encourage you in whatever you put your mind to, whether that's becoming a professional golfer or binge watching The Office for the seventh time. <laughs> through the challenges we face together, you have cared for me diligently, with loyalty and without complaint. I promise to do the same for you, to care for you and comfort you. And I promise to always do the big shot so you never have to set foot in Sainsbury's again. <laughs> <laughs> I choose you and promise to choose you every single day. I promise to choose you even when we feel far apart and even when you feel when you leave your beard hairs all over the sink. <laughs> I promise to continue to learn how to make our relationship better and better to be the life partner that you deserve. I've been living a dream ever since I got down on one knee and you said yes to marrying me. Actually, it was no, 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 sorry, yes. <laughs> you have changed me for the better and I promise to do everything to make you as happy as possible for the rest of your life. I promise to be your partner in life's adventures be it exploring wild and wonderful places or exploring the beautiful moments of day-to-day -day life. I can't wait to do it all with you. You make me smile, you stick up for me, you take care of me, and you are almost always interested in what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to support you, respect you, value your opinions, and stand by your actions forever. I love you, I, and I cannot believe my luck that I get to marry my best friend. Uh, I know Elise and Alfie are absolutely delighted and honoured that you could all be here today and congratulations on making their top 112 people. It's a real <laughs> honour. Today is a celebration of their love for each other, surrounded by the people they love the most. It's a day that will provide them with an ocean of happiness and warm, fuzzy feelings for all the years to come. And for Alfie, there are also some additional tax benefits. <laughs> Even though they would prefer to be in their walking boots and their decathlon fleeces today, even despite this weather, they look absolutely fantastic. I'd just like to shine some light for those that do not know of how Elise and Alfie met. Um, and where else do all great love stories start but Luton Airport? <laughs> Specifically the 8am Wizz Air flight to Budapest for the 2013 Siget Music Festival. And while waiting for their bags at the carousel, Elise turned to Alfie and asked, how do I get my phone to work here? And when he provided that piece of practical advice, the important first step was complete. They knew they fancied each other. <laughs> By day, our young lovers swam at the beach, uh, the first of many outdoor swims in murky, polluted waters. <laughs> at night, they held hands and kissed artists such as the Dutch Umpa DJ, Case von Hund. 
and the timeless bleeps, I'm sure we'll all agree, of totally enormous extinct dinosaurs. This next short poem is called A Word to Husband by Ogden Nash. However, it was chosen by Elise because she felt the advice applied more to herself than to Alfie. So today we'll call it A Word to Wives instead. To keep your marriage brimming with love in the loving cup, whenever you're wrong, admit it. Whenever you're right, shut up. <laughs> Um, so, this poem is um, called Nuptials by John Agard. River, be their teacher, that together they may turn their future highs and lows into one hopeful flow. Two opposite shores feeding from a single source. Mountain, be their milestone, that hand in hand they rise above familiarity's worn tracks into horizons of their own. Sorry about this. <laughs> Two separate footpaths, dreaming of a common peak. Birdsong be their mantra, that down the frail aisles of their days, their twilight heart hearts twitter morning, and their dreams prove branching. Dear family and friends, we're gathered here today to celebrate uh, Elise and Alfie's love for each other, and then joining in the union of marriage. If anyone present has any objections to this marriage, you're too late. You should have been there on Monday. <laughs> 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 Traditionally, this is a part where we share some advice on how to make a marriage work. But honestly, I think we'd all agree you should be giving the advice here, because whatever you're doing, it's clearly working. So the advice from us is keep doing what you're doing, because it is clearly working. I, Alfie. I, Alfie. Except you, Elise. Accept you, Elise. In marriage as my wife. In marriage as my wife. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a reminder. As a reminder. That we face this world together. That we face this world together. We're an unbreakable team. We're an unbreakable team. I love you always. I love you always. As my best friend. As my best friend. Alfie, do you take Elise to be your wife? I do. You do. Good. on Alfie's left hand and repeat after me. I, Elise. I, Elise. Accept you, Alfie. Accept you, Alfie. In marriage as my husband. In marriage as my husband. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a reminder. As a reminder. That we face this world together. That we face this world together. We're an unbreakable team. We're an unbreakable team. I love you always. I love you always. As my best friend. As my best friend. Elise, do you take Alfie to be your husband? I do. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and now, by the power that you have vested in me, <laughs> it is my honour and delight to declare you wife and husband. You may now kiss.
Mum and Dad, isn't it terrifying how you can see yourself turning into your parents as you get older? <laughs> Mum, thank you for passing on your messy tendencies and your scatty brain. Dad, thank you for the hanger and the pasty complexion. <laughs> All jokes aside, I couldn't be more grateful to have you as my parents. So this leads me to Alfie, my now husband. <laughs> I feel so lucky to be able to say that. How did I manage to win over such a charismatic, caring, handsome... Easily! <laughs> so naturally, I've been trying to figure out how Alfie turned out to be so great for nearly nine years now. So I thought I'd share my formulation about Alfie with you today. My fellow psychologists in the room, don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so as a psychologist, I'm always interested in a person's upbringing, where they came from, what the family's like, etc. <laughs> For Alfie, I have no doubt that he turned out to be so wonderful due to growing up in the Russian family. If you speak to anyone who knows the Russians, everyone speaks so highly and fondly of them all. And it's no surprise, the Russians are some of the funniest, sometimes, humblest <laughs> <laughs> and ridiculously intelligent people that I know. Alfie has been the driving force and organisational mastermind to make the day happen. Picture the scene. Friday evenings after a long week of work over the past few months and I'm lying on the sofa, loading up Love Island, g and in hand, and Alfie bounces into the room, opening up one of his five colour-coded spreadsheets <laughs> <laughs> and enthusiastically asks, shall we do wedding? <laughs> so really, it's thanks to him that today uh, has happened. Oh, wow. <laughs> So to conclude this psychological assessment, I have formally assessed this man to be clinically really great, which I'm sure you'll all agree. So I'd like you to join me and raise your glasses of whatever you're drinking to Alfie. To Alfie! I'm going to start with someone who's been a massive part of my life for almost nine years now. We've had some fantastic highs and some difficult lows, but we've been through it together. Born on the 16th of June, 1967, Jürgen Klopp joined Liverpool. <laughs>
I know that every person here knows that I'm punching. I'm the luckiest man in the world. We've had almost only ups, with the only downs recently linked to long COVID. And it's fair to say that was a true test. But we got through it together, and in the 12 months since, have moved house, had knee surgery, got engaged, and now married. We've not looked back. We also can't wait for a holiday. <laughs> it leaves you crack me up every day. And when you laugh at my awful jokes, you light up my day. Your patience, your empathy, your moral compass, your humor, it radiates off you and enriches the lives of everyone around you. And me most of all. I love you and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Now can you all please stand? At least that's the sound of <laughs> And raise your glasses to my new incredible wife, Elise. Uh, first of all, welcome all you beautiful people um, on this magnificent uh, occasion. Uh, what a wonderful setting it is in such beautiful weather. And, and very much it reflects uh, Alfie and Elise's love of nature and the great outdoors. And it also reflects what's really important to them, which is their family and friends. And that's why all the people that are significant in their lives are here today. As the young and not so young parents amongst you will know, you will do anything for your children, as we have tried to do for our lovely daughters and their families. And by the way, you young parents, uh, they don't disappear when they're 18, they just get really more expensive. <laughs> As well as the general love and support we have given to our two, there have been times when immediate help was needed, so I'll be look out for these. For these is lovely Father's Day card, which is here. So this is all up. If in doubt, ask that. But as you get older, you get wiser, because it says, Google it as well, though, just to be on the same side. <laughs> We had a good feeling about this partnership from the very first time that Alfie came to visit our home very soon after they had met. Our house was filled with joy, smiles and laughter that whole weekend. We are sure that your life together will continue to be full of joy, smiles and happiness. Thank you. Um, firstly, I would like to just point in that general direction and say, at least you look absolutely beautiful today. You are radiant. A vision in white. Um, to the bridesmaids, you look fantastic as well. A vision in orange. I don't think it's an expression, but a vision in orange. Um, it's going to get old. The groomsmen, a vision in grey. Um, I think potentially an alpha. Yeah, 10 out of 10, mate, to be fair. A vision in sort of. Maybe. But actually when it came to this speech, I really struggled uh, to put into words how 
excited and elated and there's quite a lot of words around this, but just how proud I am of the two of you to, to see you here today, um, to see you together, see how happy you look, how wonderful you look and how honoured I am to be up here with you uh, and to be your friend and I think to have the opportunity to share today with all of you, with your friends, your family, your loved ones, um, thank you for you know, letting us be here with you today. Um, it's, it's been a beautiful day. It's still just this constant drive. Running, triathlon, cycling, swimming. I mean, obviously in the year three recently, but golfing, blasting his way through a master's degree uh, into one of the world's most prestigious grad schemes to then pivot into a job where he's literally saving the world by shifting us over to um, electric cars. Um, all while channeling a seemingly limitless amount of energy and positivity into supporting and encouraging and using sheer force of will to manifest success uh, for his one true love, uh, Liverpool Football Club. <laughs> um, but jokes aside, uh, is it any wonder really that when he met someone as one of his leagues, he was all in? Um, I can honestly say, and I think most of you will join me in this, that I'm not surprised in the least to be here today uh, with these two, because most of us have seen it coming for the better part of the last nine years. Um, because here's the thing, everything I've said about Alfie also applies to Elise, so you thought you were gonna get away with this, and now I've got time for you as well. Um, her positivity, her kindness, her empathy, her humor, her intelligence, her drive, of course, these two fell in love the moment they met. Of course they've had nearly a decade of amazing times together. Of course they're getting married today because these two people, two of my oldest friends, deserve each other wholeheartedly. I could not ask for a better wife for my friend Alfie or for that matter a better husband for my friend Elise. Because here's the thing, individually Alfie and Elise are two of the kindest funniest, most generous, and admittedly best looking people that I know, <laughs> put them together and the result is uh, the word power couple doesn't do it justice. Just when you saw me in Raising a Glass to the greatest love story ever told, uh, an everlasting love to the people who make up the most beautiful team in the history of the world, Young Club, <laughs> and Liverpool Football Club. <laughs> Um, on a more serious note, Alfie and, uh, I mean that was very serious obviously, yeah. um, Alfie, Elise, I wish you just endless, endless, endless joy and happiness in this next chapter of your, your journey together. Um, so please join me in a toast to celebrate these two wonderful people, two Elise and Alfie. <laughs>